If you are running an Amazon affiliate blog, then the question is how to integrate product in the middle of content. Well, there are two ways. Number one is a free method. In that case, you can get a link within your Amazon affiliate dashboard, which you can directly paste on your website. And the another one is a plugin method. Here you can see on my screen, this is my own Amazon affiliate blog. And on this blog, I have integrated this product with the help of an external plugin. But the question here is, if you have the free option available, then why I'm using a plugin? So let me take you to that step-by-step -step guide. And in this video, you will get a complete idea why using a plugin can maximize your earning or can help you to integrate product in a different, different ways to increase more engagement. So guys, my name is Kirti Shwyas. If you're really interested in solving any sort of a WordPress related issues or a digital marketing tool, then this channel is for you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you will not miss any future helpful tips or videos around WordPress. So let's go to the screen. So as I shown you earlier, this is my blog and I have integrated this product in this way. But before that, if you log in your own Amazon affiliate program, that means your own dashboard, then after you will be having here an option like product link. So what I will show you is first log in your Amazon affiliate program in one of the window, then go to the next screen and open normal amazon.com marketplace. The moment when you will open it and then open any sort of a product at the top, you will find here a site stripe. So basically this is the feature where you will get a link to paste in the middle of a content. So there are three ways. Number one is either you can have only text link of this product. Number two, you can have an image link of this product. And number three, you can have a text with image link on your product, but there are no further customization option. So if you would like to integrate this product in the middle of a content via free method, just copy this code, go back to your blog post, create a new blog post. And in the middle of a blog post, let's say I will type here wireless mic, and then here, come back and choose custom HTML, paste your code, go to preview. This is how the product will look on your website. Let's use here another method, custom HTML, go back. This time, instead of text with images, we will use only images. We'll copy this code, okay? Let's say I will copy this code. You will go back over there. Again, custom HTML, paste it, preview. So this time the product link has been also added in the middle of a content. Let's see how it will look like the moment when your blog post will go live. So just now I published this blog post. Let's open in a new window. You can see here, number one is an image with text. Another one is only image, but there are no further customization options available. That can be done with the help of that plugin. Number one, why I'm using that plugin. Number two, in this case, there is a feature like a link globalization. What does it mean? Just take an example. This is Amazon affiliated.com program. If you go over here, Amazon has a different, different marketplaces and if your link will be clicked by any user outside of USA, let's say in the UK. In that case, what happens is anytime when the user will click to the link, let's say this is amazon.com link, but right now I am in the UK. So if I will click to view on Amazon, you will figure out it routing me to the .co.uk. That means that the link is globalized. So if I have already signed up for amazon.co.uk, in that case, even I will make a commission using a single link that is known as a link globalization. So if you use a free method or a free account method under a tool, that is an option like one link feature. What does this mean? One link that means within this account itself, you can integrate multiple Amazon affiliate account. And that's how you will go to the manage countries at this moment. If any traffic coming from USA, Canada, French, Germany, Italy, Spain, or UK, I will get money. No matter the user will make a purchase from their local marketplaces. Even the link I have shared is a USA specific link. Likewise, if you go to the ad countries, you will have a limitation to add this many countries. So that is possible via free account. So free account will allow you to integrate images, but doesn't have further customization option. Number two, free account will allow you to make your link globalized, but only up to this many countries. What if the traffic is coming from India? What if the traffic is coming from Australia or New Zealand? In that case, you will not make money. So those two major problems can be solved with the help of a plugin call get AAWP. So this is the plugin I'm using in the middle of my content. So what this plugin does, number one, 
if you go to the live demo i will provide a link down below you can click it you can come to this page and then after you can see here you can create such comparison table you can create such product boxes you can create such best seller list and that is only with a one single line code so this kind of customization possible and the one which you can see in the middle of my content that is also just because i have used those product boxes after installing that plugin so this plugin will help you to pull the images from uh, amazon also the title as well as the product description and also make your link globalized so hopefully you got an idea why we are using a plugin in this session and then after this video i will make another one how to integrate free method how to integrate using a free method so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to this channel so now let's discuss step by step how to integrate this plugin in the middle of a content and what this plugin is all about so if i'll go back there just now before this video i have purchased this one and the pricing itself is if you will purchase it for a single site it will cost you 49 euros if you will purchase it for three sites, then it will cost you 129 euros. I already have this plugin already installed on my three website. So just for this video purpose, I have purchased another one for a 49 euros. So I will use this account and will integrate this plugin in the middle of my site. So if I will go there, you can see this is the license key I have already purchased, which is allowing me to use on my only single website. There'll be an option to download this zip file. So click it download that zip file and then after head over to your wordpress dashboard so right now i am using here my dummy website tichku.com just because of this video under this section called plugin go to add a new plugin within that add a new plugin you can come to upload plugin choose file then select the one which you downloaded and then simply install now the moment when you will install it you just have to activate that plugin so the moment when you will click to activate plugin on the left hand side, you will be having here an option like AAWP plugin. Go to the tool section or a setting section, but first start with the setting section. It will ask you to enter the license key. Just now I purchased one. So I will go back, copy this license key. Remember, it will only allow me to use on one website. So I will go there, enter it here, click to verify license and see whether your license key is activated or not. So at this moment, you can see if you go back to the licensing section, it's supposed to be activated and should say enter a valid license key. So just click to the test connection and see whether it's able to pull the data correctly or not. So I will again click to the verify licenses and then see site activated. So that's how the moment when you will activate this, if you will go back to this dashboard. So at this moment, you can see activation one of one go to the manage site within that you should be able to deactivate or activate any new site in the future if you want it now we just now did setup of that then after automatically all this different different options will be enabled so soon after your site is activated you can go to the amazon api so this time is to link your amazon account with this one so that it should be able to pull the records or a detail from your website for that go back to your amazon affiliate account under this section there is a product advertising api click to that head over to the next section there you have to create a key remember it will only allow you to create maximum two so i will delete this one for this video and then create add credentials and will create a new one so it will generate an access key and a secret key so you have to copy this thing go back enter your access key over here again go back this is your secret key just go back and enter your secret key over here then after what is your base amazon account so you select from where you pulled your key so basically it's my amazon.com and what's the id of that which is hyphen mr vyas hyphen 20. so i will enter that id like mr vyas hyphen 20. the moment once you are done with that then there is an option check in order to set up multiple tracking id so this is the point where you can link or globalize your link linking with other stores so i will click to this one then you can see there was certain limitations but here you have a canada australia belgium brazil china egypt germany all these different different countries store id you simply have to enter over here and then your link will be globalized so what i will do is let's go back to my .co.uk account there is this id mrvr 02 21 so i will go back and just enter that id where is that uh, uk one anyways we have the option to connect with the uk over there right so this is that so i will go there mrvr 0 to 21 right 
So whatever the ID it is, MRV is 0 to 21, I have entered over here, simply go back and save changes. Now the moment when you will save changes, now my link is globalized, it is able to pull the product from this side as well and that's how I will make more money. No matter user will click from which country, if that country store ID is mapped over here, then automatically I will get money as well as conversion. Remember. In order to get this ID, you have to sign up for individual country affiliate account. For India, they have a separate. For USA, they have a separate. For UK, they have a separate. But this plugin will pull all the store IDs and dynamically create a new affiliate link whenever the user will click to that link based on his geolocation. And that's how you will make more conversions. Now, this is the area we just now finished with the connections. Now, you have to scroll up and see click to reconnect and this should say your site is to be connected. If it's not, then make sure you check your API key and secret key and likewise you should be able to do the connections. Then after you will have your general options like how many data you would like to display, whether you would like to display the last date below of the content or not, such as you can see over here, it will say like when exactly the last data it was pulled. So it will pull the refresh data, latest data and then images from Amazon just to give a credit to avoid any copyright issue. So all those setup options you should be able to see here over here. And the disclaimer after each single product or list bottom of the page or maybe single product or list. So likewise, you can check in order to show disclaimer after widget in case. So this will display at the bottom of every single page to avoid any copyright issue. So the moment once you are done with that, go to save changes and you can see Basically, you can go to the output section. This is another part where you can type here how many word length you require. So maximum how many characters. So if you will hover over here, you can see there is a limitations you can set up here. If you check on the Amazon, they can have a very long description. Maybe this description will be longer than you expected. Maybe this list which you can see will be longer than you expected. So if you wanted to limit that over here, you can come here and set a certain character. So I set here a 95 character. Then after what should be the image size of the product, set it to minimum um, uh, medium and then how many pointers you would like to pill so let's say this product you can see they have only one two three four and five lists so maximum how many you want it you can set it up uh, in the plugin itself so i will go back and set it to three maximum and then after enable show description yes no and limit this character up to certain character so the description will be limited whether you would like to have the rating over there or not how many decimal places whether you would like to have the currency to be displayed whether you have this button should be displayed on your website or not i would highly recommend try to avoid this on buy on amazon because amazon doesn't allow it is against their policy so instead of you can have here something different what you wanted over here let's say white uh, the card setting buy on amazon you can have your own add to card detail detail standard detail and make sure save changes so go through all these different options so you will be having all those customization options so the moments once you are done with that now how to add the product in the middle of content for that if you go to their home website at the bottom there is a section called templates within the template you will get those codes so let's say if you would like to have this kind of image on your website you have to copy this code let's head over to the notepad section just copy paste that code over here now this is the only id you have to replace let's say you wanted to have this product on your website so every product in the amazon library or a store will have a certain se number so just copy this number go back over here and just replace it once you are done with that, go back to your blog post wherever you would like to have that product link to be added. So I will go to the edit post section. Within that, click to the plus plus icon, custom HTML, paste over here and then update it. Now let's see whether that product has been displayed there or not. So surprisingly, you should be able to see here, this is the image maximum three description we decided. The limitation of the title itself was around 100 characters and this is the price it says it's a prime or not. And at the bottom, you can see the latest image credit given to the Amazon as well as the date when exactly the product was pulled and it will pull the correct data. I mean the latest data. Likewise, let's say if you go and you would like to have another format of this one, like this new release list or let's say data field value like this one, even all those template options you'll be having within this, just have a look around. Let's say you wanted to have display of these three things in the same uh, row, then just update this with this three values. So let's say this is product number one. If I'll go back, just go back and see something similar wireless product. Let's say this is another wireless product. If you would like to have such three product to be displayed, scroll bottom, 
get each product as in number let's say this is another as in number of this product so i will come back update this one let's say i would like to have the third product which is this one again click it go back and figure out its as in number scroll down at the bottom you will find that as in number once you have all the three as in numbers just now you have the three grids so copy this you can increase this number to four five six likewise copy this go back to the product i mean your blog post click to plus icon custom html paste it if this is done, let's update this first and then after let's open this in a new window to see whether it's been added or not. So you can see there are three products been added and if anybody will click it, they will go back to that website and this time it is routing me to the .co.uk even I pull the product from the .com. So this is the way you can utilize this plugin to add such product images in the middle of a content. That will first help you to globalize your link and number two, it is going to help you to get more engagement so that you, you should be able to drive more traffic to your Amazon affiliate products and that's how you will make more commission. If you found this video helpful, make sure you comment below. If you wanted to have this plugin, I will provide a link in the description and don't miss all the future videos. So don't forget to subscribe and hit bell notification icon. That's all for today. See you in the next one.